your area secure? No. Wait. Okay, I think we're good now. What's my mission? Our researchers need you to find out why plastic water bottles change shape at different altitudes. You can count on me. I'll do my best. In order to complete our mission, we must use the scientific method. Our first step is to ask a question. The question we're going to ask is, why does a bottle change at different altitudes? Alarm deactivated. The next step is, we have to do some research. Now, as we discover information about our question, we must remember to record what we find. From our research, we concluded that at high altitudes, there's low pressure and low temperature. And at low altitudes, there's high pressure and high temperature. Now that we have our question and our background information, we can form a hypothesis. A hypothesis is an educated guess on what we think will happen during our experiment. My hypothesis is that pressure at an altitude is the main factor on the shape of the bottle. Our next step is to conduct an experiment. But first, let's review. First, we asked a question. Our question was, why does a water bottle change shape at high and low altitudes? Second, we researched our question and found information. Third thing we did was form a hypothesis. Our hypothesis was that Pressure is the main factor on the shape of the water bottle. Now, let's start our experiment. The first thing we have to do for our experiment is collect our supplies. In this experiment, we will see if pressure is a factor on the shape of this water bottle. Step one, we crush the water bottle to imitate pressures at low altitudes. Step two, we'll put the crushed water bottle on the bell jar so that way we can change the pressures. Step three, we put the bell jar on the platform. Step four, we turn it on. What we just did is that we took all the air out, releasing the pressure around the bottle, as if the bottle is at a higher altitude. Now we're going to put the air back in, returning to original pressure, just as if the water bottle came down to a lower altitude. In this experiment, we found that pressure does affect the shape of the water bottle. When the bottle was in the low pressure in the bell jar, aka the high altitude, it expanded. When we put the air back into the bell jar, returning to the room's pressure, aka low altitude, the bottle returned to its original crushed state. This next experiment will show if temperature is a factor in the shape of the bottle. To test the temperature, we're going to use this oven to show what happens to the bottle at high temperature.
has to change. In this experiment, we found that at the high temperature, the bottle expanded, but at the low temperature, it condensed. The final and most important step in any experiment is the cleanup. Now we must analyze our data. In the first experiment, we found that at low pressure, the bottle expanded. And at our second experiment, we found that at high temperatures, the bottle expanded as well. Based on the fact that at high altitudes, it's low pressure and low temperature, we can conclude that the pressure is the main factor on the shape of the water bottle. Now, we must report our results. What did you find? From our experiment, we found that pressure is the main factor on the shape of the water bottle. Well done. Thank you. I'm out. Until next time. Mission accomplished.